kids at St. Anne's. I'm doing a series on the 13 paintings that every child should know. Uh, you already know a lot of them because we do a lot of art history here. You know about Leonardo da Vinci, you know about Picasso, you know about Van Gogh, Monet, Jackson Pollock. Uh, you also really know about Raphael, but I don't think you know you know about Raphael. Raphael inspired all of the big beautiful paintings we have in our sanctuary of Mary and baby Jesus and John the Baptist when he was a baby, but we'll talk about that another time. Today I want to talk to you about uh, J.M.W. Turner. Now Turner is, uh, was from England and he's probably one of the greatest uh, painters, uh, along with Constable, of the United Kingdom. And I want to show you a close-up of this painting here. Okay. Uh, he painted this in um, the, 19, early, the 19th century. He actually lived a hundred years old, and this was painted when, later in his life. He was born in 1775, and he died in 1875, and he was prolific. He started painting and winning and selling things when he was 11 years old. So by the time this was painted, he was a total master. Now this painting is called the um, Fighting Temeraire. Now the Temeraire was a, a big uh, battleship. It was um, commissioned to uh, paint in a war between, in 1805, between England and France and Spain. France and Spain had, were allies and they were fighting England for control of the seas. And Turner happened to be a maritime artist, so he did a lot of things on the water. And this is a historical painting because it is showing this uh, big battleship, which was made out of wood. It used, from what I've heard, 5,000 large oak trees to make to build the bow of this ship. Um, what's happening in this painting is that there's a tugboat pulling in this boat, which has been, or ship, which has been um, sold for scrap. So this is the last hoorah. And, and Turner was trying to make it a glorious kind of thing. Um, actually, the ship wasn't, didn't look this good because they had already cut the masts off and he used these uh, colors that look like gold and glowing and glorified. Um, he balances this painting uh, with this beautiful sunset over here, or sunrise, some say, because of the position of the sun. This is actually not a very good reproduction of this painting. I saw it when I was in London about 30 years ago, and all back through here is this beautiful blue, and then there's a patch of blue up here not this dark, dark color, so it's not a very good reproduction. Uh, but everything else is pretty true. Um, so anyway, I want you to see this little tugboat pulling it in. So it's kind of like um, um, a memorial to the past. So here we have the tugboat with the steam engine, because steam engines had just been, you know, they were a new thing. And they, the tall ships with the mast and the sails were out of commission now. And it actually hadn't been used since eight, 1805. It was, uh, he did this painting in 1839. And so for 34 years, it just sat in, in dry dock someplace. And so they're pulling it to the final place where it will be just disassembled and the, the wooden things reused that were left on there. And so anyway, he balances it with this wonderful sunset over here with all the reflections on the water. So I just want you to know about Turner, J.M.W. Turner. And I suggest that you go on a website and look up, maybe I'll find one and, and send it to you, a website that shows some of his other paintings. In fact, we're going to do a painting inspired by Turner. He also did watercolors. This is a, a very thick impasto oil painting. Um, so we're going to do one that's um, 
like a storm at, uh, at sea, and there'll be a, a boat, and we're going to do it in, in blues and dark watercolors. And so that's the next video that we're going to be watching. Thank you for listening.